K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to the tour around the world featuring Sierra Pro Pilot. This is the unpatched uh, edition of Pro Pilot, uh, and with that, that gives us the original 172, and some interesting bugs and all that other wonderful fun stuff, including a very ugly looking uh, downtown Chicago, which... Uh, we will come to see here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and talk about uh, what we're doing for our flight. Okay, so if you've been following uh, this World Tour series on the other simulators, you'll know that uh, where we're at is Chicago Midway. And the plan is to fly to Joliet Park District. However... We're going to be making a touch and go here at Merrill C. Megs. And what we've been doing is coming around and going south and doing a touch and go, taking off and uh, take and, you know, going to Julia Park and landing. Now, what I've got going on uh, here for this one, since uh, Sierra Pro Pilot has. ATC, it was the first simulator that actually had built-in air traffic control with it uh, that actually talks and stuff. I'm not talking about the uh, the simple uh, air traffic control that Flight Simulator 4 had where you're like, uh, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator requests permission to take off. Oh, sure, you're clear to take off. No, not that. Um, <laughs> actual... ATC that uh, that you talk to and it talks back or at least a, a recorded you know pilot uh, talks to but this one where we've got set up to do the um, the touch and go version at Merrill C Max and what I mean by that is if we go to ATC communication I selected the landing preference as touch and go uh, that means that once it's done we won't really have anything on the way to uh, Joliet. And that's okay. That's fine. Because sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, sometimes this uh, ATC doesn't work quite right or doesn't work at all. As we found in the last flight. Um, we had the flight plan and everything ready to go. And it just... We got nothing. We, we got no ATC whatsoever. So, And that could be because we're running off of the unpatched version of Sierra Pro Pilot. But we're going to go ahead and turn things on here. Flight information Lima 139 Well, that's a good sign. Five, niner, two point five, five, wind 225 at niner, altimeter 29 niner, one, landing and departing runway 22 left. Departures contact ground on 121.7. Arrivals contact approach on 118.4. Advise controller on initial contact. You have information. Lima. Lima. Flight information. Lima. 139er. Zulu weather. Temperature 59er. 2.55. Wind 225 at 9er. Altimeter 29er. 9er. 1. Landing runway 22 left. Departing runway 22 left. Departures contact ground on 121.7. Arrivals contact approach on 118.4. Advise controller on initial contact. You have information. Lima. Okay. Flight so information. So we're going to go ahead and switch that off there. Clearance delivery Cessna 9 Lima with uh, information Lima. Request clearance. 
clearance to Charlie Golf X-ray. Cessna 9572 Lima. Cleared to Charlie Golf X-ray. Via radar vectors to direct Charlie Golf X-ray. Climb and maintain 5, 5, 100. Expect 5,000 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 1, 1, 8.4. Squawk 2, 6, 5, 3. Ooh. Climb and maintain 5,000. Squawk 2, 6, 5, 3. Cessna That's too high for a, um... That's too high for the touch and go. Well, I didn't look at it when I when I was uh, <laughs> when I was doing the flight plan. Here, let's uh, let's redo that. Save? No, we're not going to save it. Uh, this and this is just a good opportunity for you to see exactly what we're doing here. All right, we want to set this pretty low here. Um, we'll say 2,500 feet above uh, ground level. Click next. And we'll go ahead and select this as MDW, Chicago Midway. And the airport we're going to is CGX. Okay, that's all the same. And our weather is going to change a little bit here. 7,000 broken, I think that should be fine. Oh, and things have changed even more, so... Okay, now we're looking at that airport over there. So now I gotta turn everything back on again. Flight information, Lima, one, four, two, Zulu weather, temperature, five, niner, two point five, five, wind, three, four, zero, at five, altimeter, two, niner, niner, one, Landing and departing runway three one center departures contact ground on one two one point seven arrivals contact approach on one one eight point four. Okay, so we'll start this over. <laughs> At least we can see Chicago now. Okay, well let's go back to this again. Let's Flight go back. Information Lima one four two. Touch and go. Clearance delivery is Cessna nine or five seven two Lima with uh, information Lima request clearance to Charlie Golf. With uh, a mm, um. Cessna nine or five seven two Lima clear to Charlie Golf X ray via radar vectors to direct Charlie Golf X ray climb and maintain three thousand. Expect 3,000 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.4. Squawk 1013. Climb and maintain 3,000. Squawk 1013. Cessna 72 Lima. 1013. 10. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go, 1013. I have a crying cat. One center. Hold short of the active. Taxi two and way three. One center. Hold short. Cessna seven two Lima. Okay, so we're holding short. There's no sense on taxing on here because the taxing, the ground movement is broken. We're moving. Yeah, that's the lovely thing about the unpatched version is the brake doesn't work. I'm holding the brake, which is the B key, and we're just moving right along. See? <laughs> we're just moving. And if I try to turn ourselves, uh, you'll notice 
I mean, I'm turning to the left, but we are not turning to the left. We're turning auto coordination on. Let's try it now. Ooh, okay. I'm turning. This this is. This has got promise. Test and nine seven alpha. You're cleared for the touch and go. Runway three one center. Test and nine seven alpha. Of course, I stopped turning. There we go. I don't even know if this is the right runway. Eventually, it's going to put us on the runway that we, we need to be on anyway, so... I mean, I can't do nothing. I can't. I can't stop it. So I don't know what it's. What is it waiting on? Who knows? Let's do a C again here. Cessna seven two Lima, hold for arriving aircraft. Cessna seven two Lima. Now keep in mind here that I am hitting the brake and it's not doing anything. I'm just still moving along here. And the sun is going down, by the way. I kept wondering if I wanted to continue playing with the unpatched version or not, and mm, I don't recommend it. That, what, that, what can I say? I can at least move on the ground a little better, but in the uh, patched version, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's like they fixed the brakes, but then the ground taxing is just botched. It's just all messed up. You start sliding to the left. Dude, man, I'm like at the end of the runway here. Alrighty. Well, this is turning out to be fantastic. So, we'll just go ahead and cancel ATC <laughs> and we will go to position ourselves at uh, Chicago Midway and we'll just pick a runway because this is getting a little ridiculous there we'll pick 31 center how about that yes it will close it I don't care no I don't want to save it and we have to restart everything again because, uh, you know, stuff.
But at least my nav radios and everything are the way they should be, so... I'm using F7 to make the uh, make the control panel not as big. And we're going to do our best to eyeball this. I'll try to use some... I don't think we're going to need to use any... Navigational radios, considering um, that the ones that I got tuned in don't seem to be doing much anyway. Yeah, 112.3 is Joliet, and that should be tuning in, and it's not. The other thing about this is that when you're on sh at straight and level, or somewhat close to it, it's really hard to see out the window, as you can see. I'm just looking at sky here, and I'm trying to see exactly, you know, where am I in relation to everything? We can do some outside shots here if we want to. Ah, yes. We're beginning to see some of Chicago from here, where it's made out of bricks. Yeah, it has a very unique look to it. <laughs> And since ground steering is horrible on this thing, I don't know how this touch and go is, is going to go. <laughs> no pun intended. Another annoyance that I found is the sky. Obviously, the um, horizon is right here, but you got all this gray right here, and then the sky. And even if it's a clear day, it looks exactly the same. I mean, you may have no clouds in the sky, but you still got this poor attempt at haze on the um, horizon.
Okay, there's Megs. I can see Megs. Now, some of you may be thinking, um, how is it that I was able to easily go from patched version to unpatched and back and forth? Well, I'm running this in VMware. And so with VMware, um, as you know, you can do snapshots. And so I have a snapshot of the first just after the sim is installed. And then I have another snapshot of it after being um, patched. And so I've been kind of dancing back and forth between them. Yep, so there it is. Downtown Chicago. The interesting version. Kind of looking at stuff here. Kind of getting a feel for where we are. And there's the airport. I'm going to bring down a thing of flaps here and go in the opposite direction that I don't want to go. Okay, well, let's aim for the ocean. That's always good. Well, that's a lake, but you know, you know what I mean. Come on up there, come on. Easy does it. Oh my, will we actually do this? Can we actually do this? Oh my. Alright, so full power. And we're up. I'll be day. We did it. We have done our touch and go.
So I'm curious if anyone else has done this on ProPilot or not. Did, they, did anyone try to do touch and goes or were they just happy to get this thing to work to start off with? <laughs> Hey, I'd be ecstatic if the nav radio would work, which doesn't seem to want to work. One one two point three should be Joliet, and it's not doing anything. Let's try tuning in Chicago. Chicago hair. And I'm moving off this direction. Because that's not the direction I want to go, but, you know. Let's see, 113.9. Okay, so what I have no nav radios that work at all, apparently. Oh, well, there we go. Alt in. Yay! Well, I've got nav 2 working. And if I set that for. 1920 Oh shoot, I'm on the, I'm, the, I'm on the wrong one. Man, the wind is just blowing us all over the place. Okay. Turn this way. Okay, the good thing is that... Julia Park has actually started to... show up here. Okay, I think we've got our route. We have it centered on nav one. Huh. I'll be dang, this autopilot actually has an al altimeter function. The, uh, the 172R that is supposed to be the improved version of this doesn't have the altitude function. Altitude. And they said the, uh, the autopilot is broke, so it does appear to be broke. <laughs> I'm going to give it a shot here and see what we can do. Let's turn on heading here. Well, it's not keeping us at the altitude we want, that's for sure. But it, the heading does seem to be working, though. I set the red marker over here to 24, and it automatically moved it. Let's 
So there's Megs in Chicago. There's Midway. And we're just kind of leveling out here at 3,000. Trying to, anyway. Let me turn, turn that on and off there again and see if that works. And I have a kitty who's trying to be problematic. Aren't you, Shadow? still really can't see anything um, in front of us. We have to actually reduce our view to this uh, by looking at the cowl over the um, nose of the airplane. And that is really the best way that we're going to be able to get any type of scenery that we can look at. You know, other than looking out at the side. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Well, if I was stalling, it was not doing a very good uh, job of falling. And why was it stalling? I know I turned down my throttle, but... Hmm. Adjust our course a little bit. You're knocking stuff down, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at this. You always do this when I start recording, too. Yeah, you do that on purpose, don't you, Shadow? And I'm having a problem with my allergies, too. And like magic, I have a kitty here in front of me. <laughs> huh. Because you are being a little snot. Aren't you? 
But don't you want to turn to the camera and say hi? What are you all shy? Huh? Well, if you were good, I wouldn't have to pick you up. And we're still going up here. He's cleaning my face. <laughs> This is what he wanted. He wanted me to hold him. Well, I'm doing what I can, boy. Twenty three miles to go. Kind of look out the, uh, Out the front windshield here without the uh, instrument panel. My cat is purring. Not as loudly as the plane, but he is purring. Somewhat proud of himself, I think. Kind of looking around here. Oh my goodness, we're losing speed again. How are we losing speed when I am... This is crazy. It's like I had this thing... trimmed for going down and it's like it's not not working. Maybe we just need to... I guess turn the uh, autopilot off. Maybe that's just causing a problem. Okay, boy. Are you ready to get down? Ow! Here, go over to the chair. Or go over there, and that's fine. Now, see, now that I turned the autopilot off... Let's see if we can... Get some of our other navigational beacons going here. Maybe... 16. Oh, I hate how this thing just kind of blows off course here.
I think we're about 15 miles away from the airport. Okay, I know that's not it. That's not Clow International, because they don't have Clow International. We can pull up our GPS, uh, which doesn't seem to be really giving us anything here. We are heading towards Joliet. So that is good. It was probably Lewis University that we're flying over. That would be my guess. Since I absolutely despise wind in these uh, <laughs> these old sims, we're going to change this to zero. We'll click set layer, calm. Click this to zero, calm, and that should be good. Because they don't behave very realistically. They're, they behave worse in this simulator than what I've experienced in other ones. Yeah, so I don't think that's Joliet Park. But just to be sure, let's go to position aircraft and take a look and see where we are here. Okay, so we are located near uh, Lewis University, which is what I thought. So the direction we're heading, uh, we should see Joliet right afterwards, and then we can go ahead and land. So, you know, this simulator does have a little, few little perks to it. Just a little. But we're going to do our best with this. We're going to try to get as much fun as we can out of, out of this, uh, old, this old dog here. Oh. 
There's a building over there. Interesting. There it is. So we'll bring ourselves over in this direction. keep having to adjust the trim to go down because it's not wanting to go down. Maybe it's all out of alignment because I put the autopilot on, I wonder. We have a sort of kind of gradual day to night uh, transition here. Too much to say at the moment because I'm like trying to keep this thing like from turning in one direction and another so it's really hard to say hey let's talk about this or let's go through the manual or any dozen of other things that we could be doing I'm gonna lower some flaps here so that way we can start going back upwards again. I really hate that. There's a couple of towers there. Three of them, actually. There's two here. There's one there. down. <laughs> Don't look down.
Now I'll have to say that the air traffic control does tend to route you in the, you know, when it works. It tends to route you in the right way so that way you're coming into land. It doesn't take too much to try to land or, you know, to line up with the runway. But, um... We'll have plenty of opportunity to use it. We've used it a little bit. We saw how it works and how well it doesn't work. Well, we're coming around here. There it is. See, of course, with the unpatched version, I'm able to do a much better job at landing. Than with the patch version. It's just, it's really weird. On how. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Okay, down, down. Whoa, what happened there? Okay. So that is where we go to uh, slew mode. <laughs> I mean, we did land, but now it just—it's not going to want to—it's not going to want to turn off. So, so this is where we start using our imagination. Is what what, what we start doing here. But we'll go ahead and turn everything off. going to say is it going to turn off or not and we'll just take a look at our position aircraft and sure enough we are here at Joliet so that is that's good that's a good thing and yeah so uh, we're here at Joliet we did a pretty decent t touch and go I think over at Meg's and uh, we flew all the way over here and didn't quite get the air traffic uh, control that we were hoping for because it just kind of like meh wasn't really wanting to work for us but uh, the point is that we accomplished what we wanted to do uh, which was the touch and go at Meg's and flying out here to Joliet so thanks for joining me and I hope you um, got uh, Got something out of this uh, flight with this this old pro pilot uh, simulator so if you did leave a thumbs up would appreciate that and uh, feel free to leave a comment let me know that you're out there uh, doing a subscription <laughs> subscribing to the killer empire is always a welcome thing and then ringing that notification bell 
as you probably already know, will notify you of when new videos are uploaded to this channel. Uh, whether it's pro pilot or maybe something a little better. But in any case, I appreciate you being here and watching, and I will see you on the next leg of our journey.